Hey RHS, I'm Jordan Valmier and I'm here at Southgate Anderson High School where the girls varsity basketball team's first district game was held. Tonight, senior Katie Thornton hit 1,000 points in her athletic career. For that first free throw, why not senior number 34, Katie Thornton, surpass 1,000 career points. So explain what happened tonight. So Katie reached her 1,000th career point, which is the first player, she's the first player in Wyandotte history to do so. So, that, I mean, pretty exciting. How does it feel to be the first female to make this accomplishment? It honestly is just like so surreal. I never would have, my freshman year, I never thought like this would be a goal for me. And then junior year, I heard a couple girls at other schools doing it and I was like, I want to do that. So then I just made it a goal to shoot for about 20 points every game and then it just happened. What was your reaction when Katie was close to accomplishing her goals of, goal of 1,000 points? Uh, the true feeling at the time was relief. I said, uh, we've been waiting for this since day one. We knew there was a chance she could get it this year and uh, I was just relieved and very, very proud of her and, and her accomplishment. Um, what point this season did you realize you were going to hit this milestone? Well, I was really nervous like three games ago because I was at like 75, but then I had a 28 point game, so I was like, all right, I think districts is when I'll get it. And then when I only had four today, I didn't get it till the second half, so I was kind of like, oh no, I'm not going to get it. But then I ended up getting it, so yeah. How does it feel now to know a girl you've coached has hit more than 1,000 points? It's great. It's awesome. Uh, she was one of our first players. Her and Madison came up as uh, as freshmen. They played on varsity for all four years, so we knew we had a, a chance. I think after her freshman year, she only had about 130 points, so she's really done a great job and been very consistent for us. In what ways do you think you've helped her in an athletic career? She will tell you I've probably been way too hard on her, and at some times I probably have been, but I think the results speak for themselves. So. I mean, she's had a great career, and, and she's accomplished in many sports. So I, I know I push her sometimes maybe a little too hard, but I, I think the results speak for themselves. Well, as she grew closer, we, sometimes we had to settle her down and, and, and try to tell her, you know, you can't get it all in the first half. And teams, you know, did a great job defending her, you know, and sometimes she tried to force it and took her out of her game. And the one good example was when we played Southgate here, she was struggling at halftime. I think she had two points, and uh, we told her, you know, you can got to help the team win in different ways. And she came out and made uh, ten consecutive free throws. So, you know, she's done. She's done it all for us this year. And at what point in your high school career did you start taking basketball more seriously? Honestly, since freshman year, I kind of had a leading role. I had to step up for the team. I got a lot of minutes all season in the districts, and ever since then, basketball has just been my love and my life. So. Way to go, Katie. Congrats on being the first female basketball player to hit 1,000 points. Now back to the anchors.